Outlander finale, Lauren Lyle breaks down Marsley's crucial move, offers totally different season 6 hint. Talking to Outlander's Lauren Lyle is unexpectedly and extremely comforting in these quarantine times, turns out that, thanks to some detailed behind-the-scenes lessons, all of that animal cleaving and skin suturing she did on screen as Marsley in season 5 is now part of her permanent repertoire. Which means Lyle is someone you'd want to know in the event of an apocalypse. I'm proud of myself, the amount of skills I've learned this year, in terms of the sewing and the butchering, the actress tells TV line. I mean, if you and I were out hiking, and you got your leg cut open on a rock or a bush, I think I would know how to keep you safe and stitch you up and get you back to a hospital in time without you dying on me. She chuckles. I can hunt you an animal, I can cut it up, I can do all that, and then if you can hurt I can fix you. And that's all just because of this year. Lyle's on-screen alter ego proved equally useful in Sunday season finale, in which she got vengeance on Lyle Brown for raping Claire by injecting him with hemlock and killing him. Read full recap here and hear what series star Katrina Bailf and executive producers Matt Roberts and Tony Graffia had to say about the harrowing hour, so naturally, we wanted to give Lyle a long-distance high-five and talk about pregnancy pads, more Marsley, Fergus time in season 6 and more. Line, it's a pleasure to talk to you, because we've been in love with Marsley this season. We just named her MVP. Thank you, so much for doing it. It was such a delight to see. It was such a delight. Line, Marsley takes some very definitive action near the end of the finale. How much do you think she thinks about killing Lionel Brown before she does it? Obviously, she needed time to steep the hemlock, so. It's not impulsive. Line, exactly. But then afterward, she seems to realize what she's done. Talk me through how long that choice is brewing within her. A lot of what Marsley is about this season is protection and really having found her place and her meaning on the ridge. She lives in a time where for women it's not, for everyone, but especially for women, it's not easy. It's really rough and tough. You have to fight to stay where you are and to have your place. And Marsley is in a relationship with Fergus where it is equal, and she knows that she should be treated, well. And so when the whole kidnapping happens, that's her. Other mother that's been taken away. When it comes to your mom, you have to protect, and I certainly feel that. We spoke about the fact Marsley feels privileged and honored that Claire trusts her so much to be in the room with her, and we're now at a point where Marsley knows what she's doing in the surgery. She's able to hold her own and Claire can't be in the room and can't handle being around Lionel that she has to leave. Marsley goes on to have the man that essentially starts tearing her family apart directly threaten Marsley to her face, that he will kill her, her family, her mother, everyone. Marsley's at a point where she has two options, either do nothing and hope for the best, or you protect her and have the knowledge that you're doing exactly what needs to be done. It's not impulsive, it's not irrational. It's doing what she feels responsibly needs to be done. She's not the kind of person to go running to daddy and tell him to do it. Instead, she's apparently capable. She butchers animals, she protects the land, and she does what needs to be done, and she'll take the responsibility and do it herself. Then after it's done, it's less about, oh no, what have I done? And more. An interesting sneak peek into how your mind would be in the 1700s. She believes in God, she's a woman of God, she believes in, ghosts, witches, all this sort of thing. It's all about the fact of, will he haunt me? Am I going to hell? I imagine, yeah, the shock of doing something like that would be huge, but the reassurance from what is her father figure, I think, reassures her that it was the right thing to do in this context. Claire, has taken her oath but the rest of us haven't. So I think we almost feel a responsibility over it.